Hey guys, this is the Auto Enthusiast, and today we're going to take a look at how an air to air intercooler works. We're going to briefly look at what a bar and plate design is and what a tube and fin design is. The purpose of an intercooler is to reduce the intake air charge temperature. The reason it's called an air to air intercooler is because that the air being pushed through the actual turbocharger system is being cooled by the ambient air that's being forced through the intercooler when the car moves. So what happens in a turbocharger system, just as a review, is the engine pumps out exhaust gases that are really, really hot. It's forced down into the turbocharger through the piping. It spins the turbine. The exhaust gases are pushed out the exhaust, um, and that's done via the wastegate. The turbine spins, sucking in outside ambient air and pushing that further down piping and into the intercooler. The intercooler cools that air, so the air comes out the other side cold. That's the cold side. It goes up through the intake manifold past the blow-off valve and back into the engine. And the blow-off valve releases that extra pressure when the throttle is stopped and the throttle plate is blocking the air into the engine. As I said before, the idea of an intercooler is to reduce the intake air temperature charge. So the reason we want this air going into the engine chamber in with the piston to be colder is because it will have more oxygen in it. That will cause a larger explosion. It's also, if it's colder, it's less likely to combust before you really want it to. So there are two main types of intercooler. There's the bar and plate and the tube and fin. We'll look at the bar and plate first. It is called a bar and plate uh, intercooler simply because of the design and the way it looks. It's just a stack of plates. The tube and fin is a lot like the bar and plate, but, but again it's named because of its construction. The tube and fin has tubes rather than just rectangular openings and the air passes, passes through those tubes. So as you can see that you have the inner cooler, this is a side view. The air is going through those sections with those metallic V's and outside air, that cold outside air is being forced through the other slots and out the other side. And that air being forced out, that ambient air being forced in and out is cooling the air that's traveling through to the cold side of the turbocharger system. So what happens is as you're driving and there's more and more pressure on the front of the car, this ambient cold air passes through the slots, um, through the slots in the turbocharger, and the heat from the air coming from the turbocharger in the actual turbocharger system is cooled by this air passing through. That, that air absorbs the heat. So there are a couple differences between the bar and plate and the tube and fin other than design. The bar and plate does a much better job actually cooling the air. The actual build of the bar and plate is much stronger and will withstand more. The advantage to the tube and fin is that it's a lot lighter than the bar and plate. There is a major disadvantage with the tube and fin. Uh, as the hot ambient air coming through the turbocharger system gets to the intercooler, by the time it's on the other side, on the cold side of the system, there's, a, there's been a huge drop in pressure from one side to the other. Overall, an air to air intercooler um, works by cooling the intake air charge temperature with ambient outside air that's forced in through the intercooler, usually in a bar and plate design, and that cooler air causes larger explosions and more controlled explosions in each piston, causing more power, and that's how an intercooler works. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you watch some of my other videos. Give me a like if you can. Comment below, let me know what you thought about my video and what you think about intercoolers. I uh, hope to see you in the future and have a good day.